Happy Veterans Day to my fellow vets. Uh, we're talking about that a little bit. It's Veterans Day. Uh, I'm sure everyone's saying thank you for your service and support your veterans and whatnot. And that is much appreciated. Uh, I'd like to give you a little insight as to why veterans have probably the highest suicide rate of most Americans. Imagine yourself going through high school, going through college, or whatever, spending most of your life in school. Everything's structured, everything is set, scheduled. Uh, you get your friends there to watch back all the time. And then picture being told you have an opportunity in another country to travel, make some money, uh, meet people, cultures, whatever. So they take you from your structured school or whatever and they just kind of drop you off in the middle of India and as you're getting off the plane you are swept into what is a riot everyone's yelling everyone's screaming there's chaos your friends aren't there to watch your back um, no one really knows what's going on no one's following anybody there's no one really to talk to no one that gives a shit about you me, anyway, that's how I felt coming back to the civilian world from the military. Is everything was structured, everyone was watching your back, whether you're on base or off base, there was always a brother or sister around to help you out, to fix you or correct you if you were wrong or doing something wrong, to pick you back up if you fell. And now, you know, even, I got out in 02, even since then, it still is this chaos out here. The civilian world is chaos. And it feels a lot of the time like no one cares about you. I'm not saying I want everyone to walk up and pat me on the back for a sacrifice I made or or whatnot. But, you know, one thing I will ask a civilian to do is if you see that OG in Walmart with the hat on, you know, I'm a veteran of Korea, World War II, Vietnam, Desert Storm. Um, talk to that individual, you know, just walk up and introduce yourself. You don't have to say thank you for your service or whatever. You can, you know, start a conversation off how you'd start a conversation off with anybody. I see you served, you know, where'd you serve at? What did you do? You know, and that will brighten a veteran's day. You know, you don't have to kiss his ass or buy him a latte or whatever. But, you know, we're all people. We all have our demons. And, you know, in my experience, I feel like veterans have more demons than most people. You know, just from the culture shock, I'm not a war veteran. But your war veterans, you know, have those demons as well. You know. It just, when a veteran sits down somewhere and he looks around, he's at times, you know, pissed off because... Your average civilian, if your internet goes down or you crack your screen on your phone or if you're inconvenienced in any way, that's a bad day for you. You know, a veteran's bad day, you know, was boot camp, was, uh, you know, the constant being grilled, uh, the constant just, you know, being shit on for whatever reason. And that's what we signed up for. And we were proud that we signed up for that. And we, at any time, we're willing to give our lives, you know, for every freedom that every civilian takes for granted. And that's really what, you know, will grind a, a veteran's gears, you know, is is not because they're not being appreciated. It's because their sacrifice isn't being appreciated. And that, you know, that hurts and that makes us angry. And, uh, you know, I was in four years and when you're trained to, you know, do what, service members are supposed to do in combat or or any other stressful situation it just you know that anger is hard to uh enunciate without a seeming brash or insensitive to your you know little feelings um but yeah you know take care of your vets take care of each other you know we're all people. We all got feelings. We've all had different experiences. But 
I mean, when it comes down to it, we all just need to look out for each other. There needs to be more of that. Yeah. Those are my wise, wise words of today. And, you know, even on Veterans Day, I've got to go into work. That's where I'm about to go. But, in closure, if you're watching this, you're checking in. Have a good day. Be kind. Be kind to each other.